generally speaking, every GUI has two major parts. We have the GUI part or the GUI code and then the logic code. The GUI code is actually the code that forms the elements or the widgets we see on the GUI. For example, like the text area, text boxes, buttons, and other controls we see on the GUI are formed by the GUI code. Then the logic code is actually the event, the event code that will occur when you click on those controls or elements on the GUI. So in this video, we are going to design this simple GUI and I call it Hello World. So as you can see, I've created a sketch mockup for the GUI. It's going to have a title bar, a menu bar, then a static text, then followed by a space, then a choice or combo box, then space, then at the bottom we have some buttons. So it is a good practice to always sketch or have a mock-up of what you intend to design. This will make your GUI code a lot easier. So now let's I've created a folder and I call it Hello World. It's presently empty. So here I'm going to save all my projects for this GUI. So now let's launch WS Form Builder and start designing our code, our GUI code. So to start with, I will save the project by clicking on save button. Then navigate to the location of my project folder and then I will name it Hello, Hello World. So click on save to save the project. So the next setting I will have to do is to come to the property panel and make some changes here. The important ones I would like to do is to set a name for the GUI code that will be generated. So the file name, I'm going to call it hw for hello world underscore GUI. Then the generated code, instead of C++, I will change it to Python. So I'm okay with these settings for the project. Then the next thing is to add my frame and then add some couple of widgets on that frame. So if you take a look at our sketch mockup, what we need to do first is to add the frame. So to add the frame, I'll go to form staff and then click on frame. So here I have my frame. With the frame selected in the object tree, I can change the property of that frame. For example, I can change the name of the frame. Remember, remember that this name is going to be the name of the class for the frame we generated in our Python code. So the title, the title is going to appear on the title bar here. I can type in the title, something like hello, hello world. And then it will appear on the title bar just like that. So let me quickly generate the code. Since you recall that I did not set the path, if I go back to the project, I did not set the part where the code will be generated. So it's going to generate into the main project folder here. So the part is relative to the project folder. So here I'm going to select, click on this button or press F8 on your keyboard to generate the file. So remember that the name is hello world.gui 
hello world underscore GUI. So if I go back to my folder, I will see that the file has been generated. I'll simply right click on it and open with sublime text. So here I have my hw underscore GUI open in my sublime text. So remember that we need to add a minimum WS Python code for us to be able to run this particular file. If I press Ctrl D to build, nothing shows up because the minimum code is missing. So here I will type the WS Python minimum code, which is as follows. We have the app, which is called the WS app method. Then we we'll call the frame. We have the frame object, which is actually the name of the class, my frame one, and the parent is set, set to none. Then we show the frame. Then we call the main loop method on the app. So if I press Ctrl D, we will see that our frame will appear just like this. So presently, our frame has no widgets on it. And as you can see, we have the basic minimize, maximize, and close buttons. So here, I would like to disable this resizing of the frame. As you can see, I can click on maximize to maximize the frame. I can also drag the frame to resize it. So I would like to set the size to a fixed size. So that the frame will not be resizable. So I'll go back to my WS Home Builder, select my frame. Then there are different methods of disabling the resizing of the frame. But the easiest, I think, you can. But the easiest of all is to set the maximum size of the frame. So with the frame selected, come to max maximum size of the frame and then set it to the actual size or the current size of the frame. So here we have the default maximum size set to minus one. I'm going to change it to the actual size maximum size of the frame, which is 500. For the width and for the height is 300. As seen here. So if I regenerate my frame, if I save and regenerate my frame, and then I go back to my code and then add the minimum code, then run the script, I will see that I have I can no longer resize the frame. Even if I click on maximize. The frame still remain on 50 by 300 pieces. So this is how to go about resizing your frame, or setting or disabling the size of the frame. So if I check my sketch, the next widget I'm going to add is a text, static text that says "Hello dash dash dash." So if I go back to my WS Home Builder, in order for us to add a control or a widget, we need to add a layout. So here I'm going to the layout tab and then use the WX layout box. So with the layout box added, I can now add other controls. So select with the layout box selected. Here you can see the orientation. The orientation is set to vertical. You can change it to horizontal. So we need our element to be arranged in vertical form. That is from top to down. So we need to leave it on vertical. But if you need your widget or your element to be arranged from right, from left to right, then you can set it to horizontal. So here we go with vertical from top to bottom. So I'm going to switch back to the common tab and then for me to add this static text I will simply click on 
the icon here, the WX static text. So here is our text. Then I need to centralize it by clicking on this centralize button. Then I also need to expand it to make it fill the entire width of the frame. Then I can, I also need to increase this font size. So here I select the static text and then I'm going to change the style. I'm centralizing the text and then increasing the font size. So come to font. Sorry. I'll come to font here and then set the font size to so something like 18 or 20 to make it a little bit bolder. So I can change a couple of other properties like the font family, the font style, the weight, and so on. Even the color, I can change the colors, the color of the font. But I think I'm okay with this. Then the label, which is currently set to my label. I can change it by changing the label here. I will change it to hello. Dash, dash, dash. Then click on enter to apply it. Just the way I have it here on my sketch. So I think I'm good with the static text. Let me save, then generate the code to see my changes. So I'll go back to the bottom, add my minimum code, then run the script. And then you can see we have the static text, just like that. And all our previous settings are still active. I can't resize the frame more than 500 by 300 pixels. And our title for the frame is also there. So I close and I'll go back to my designer. So the next widget I'm going to add is a space then followed by choices. So to add the space, I'm going to use the come back to layout tab. That is a spacer icon there. So just click on it and then it will add the space right at the bottom of the text. So the next widget there is choices. So I'll come back to the common tab and then add WX choice. Just at the bottom of the space. So as you can see, here the space is a little bit wider. Or let me change the proportion of the space, the spacer, to zero and see what will happen. So as you can see, when I change the proportion of the spacer, my WS choice control moved up so let me return the proportion to one as it is and then try to centralize and then expand my ws choice control i also like to increase the font of the ws choice so i'll come back to the object property and then look for font then set it to 20 pieces so there is no option within the choice box so i would like to set choices for the choice box so here i'll click on this choices button then add a new choice. The first I will call it world. Then add a new one, which I'll call Af Africa. Add a new one. 
this I'll call it euro add a new one I'll call it not not America add a new one which I'll call South America then add a new one I'll call it Asia so at least these are some continents within the globe so I'll click on OK and then if I click I now have so many options to choose from so hello world hello Africa hello Europe Hello North America, Hello Asia, Hello South America. So if I go back to my sketch, then the next widget is a space, then followed by a button that says print. So at the bottom of the choice widget, I'm going to add another spacer. So here's another spacer, then just below the spacer, we have a button so go back to my common tab and then click on button so the button too i'm going to centralize it and then i will expand it to fill the space then i will make some changes to the property so first of all i'm going to change the label from my button to print then i'm going to set the font size to 20 so that is the last widget or control we have on our sketch so as you can see our GUI is taking shape just the way we want it to be here yeah. so here I save my project and regenerate the code so if I go back to my text editor and then add the minimum code and rerun the script I will see that I have my frame with all the controls we have added the static text the choices and then a button so at the moment our widgets don't do anything if we click on them or if we trigger an event so in the next video I'm going to show you how to configure the widgets so that probably when we click on the print button it's going to print whatever is selected in choices here or on the console here and that is what we call the logic so the GUI code is generated by the blessed home builder then the logic aspect of the code we are going to code it manually into the script and as it is at the moment what we want to achieve at the end of the day is when we click on this print button to grab whatever text is selected here onto the static text here and also on the and also on the prompts of our text editor till then have a nice day